Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Welcome to Real News and Weather. I'm digital correspondent Sarah Strackhouse. We're starting off with a look at some of your top headlines of the day. China has grounded almost 100 Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircrafts this morning after a crash of one of their planes in Ethiopia killed all 157 people on board this weekend. NBC reports two other countries have also grounded the Boeing 737 MAX 8 jet, saying it's the same make and model as the plane that killed 180 89 people last year near Indonesia. The black boxes from the flight have been found and the cause of the crash is being investigated. And CNN is being sued $250 million for quote direct attacks on Covington Catholic High School student Nick Sandman. According to the Washington Times in January on a class trip to the Lincoln Memorial, Sandman was wearing a Make America Great Again hat and was widely depicted in the media as harassing an Omaha national elder. When the full video of the incident was found, it came to light that the American Indian activists approached the students who were waiting for the bus back to school, and a group of black Hebrew Israelites protesters shouted racial and homophobic slurs at the teens. Sandman's lawyer gave outlets and celebrities who shared the video without full context time to apologize, but is now suing numerous outlets, including CNN and The Washington Post, in defamation lawsuits. And a woman in Arizona was attacked after trying to take a selfie with a jaguar at a wildlife zoo just outside of Phoenix Saturday. According to ABC News, the woman crossed a barrier and the jaguar swiped at her. The zoo said in a statement, quote, she's a wild animal and there were proper barriers in place to keep our guests safe. Not a wild animal's fault when barriers are crossed. Still sending prayers to her and her family, end quote. Luckily, the injuries were non-life threatening. Well, it was a beautiful day Saturday, but a little colder yesterday. Let's take a look and see what's in store for us for the rest of the week with meteorologist Cash Payne. Cash, what can we see? Well, yeah, Strax, it looks like things have changed a little bit for the work week. Saturday was absolutely gorgeous across parts of North Texas, really across all portions of Texas. It was uh, fairly nice. And then things changed a little bit on our Sunday. So we had a little bit more clouds. It was a little bit colder. Also some rain that was working its way through the Metroplex going through Sunday night and into your Monday morning. Most of that rainfall kind of dissipated and stayed north of I-20, closer to the Oklahoma and Texas border. And it should remain that way probably going through the rest of the afternoon. There might be a few scattered showers, though, across parts of Dallas and Fort Worth, especially heading into Monday evening and into Tuesday, where we could see a better chance for some uh, showers and maybe some even strong thunderstorms going into Tuesday and into your Wednesday about a 70 to 80 percent chance uh, through those both of those days as far as rainfall and uh, maybe some showers and thunderstorms developing some possible hail and maybe some strong winds as well there is a small severe threat going through Tuesday and Wednesday but then things start to change going into the back half of your work week looks like Wednesday afternoon things start to clear up and then as we go into Thursday and Friday it should be a very calm and quiet weather patterns all in all as far as temperatures go throughout the week it's going to be, remain fairly steady for today with all the overcast and cloudy skies temperatures are going to remain fairly uh, around the mid 50s going through the afternoon and they should remain in the 50s and 60s going through the rest of the week don't go anywhere the rundown is coming up next Thanks so much, Cash. The Rundown is a daily email sent out by Jeff Crilly to journalists across the country talking about some of the top stories of the day, and it also has an expert who can weigh in on the subject. The first story on the Rundown. Three countries ground Boeing 737 MAX 8 jets in wake of deadly crash. That's a story out of Bloomberg talking about this as aviation consultant Ken Jenkins. The next story, high school shooting teams are getting widely popular and the NRA is helping. That's a Times story and talking about this is lawyer and gun expert Emily Taylor. The final story, managers say March Madness improves morale productivity. That's a story out of HR Dive and talking about this is an expert in the workplace culture, Bobby Albert. To get on the rundown, all you have to do is email Jeff Crilly. That's Jeff Crilly at realnewspr.com. Well, thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you back here on Friday.